There is a quote that always stuck with me. It said, People will always remember the way you made them feel. So, I hope this makes you feel something. The core of creativity is to take a feeling and recreate it, then share it with others. If you look on YouTube, you can find tons of videos engineered to get you to watch longer. I'm learning, you can only go so far with that. The point is to get to somebody's heart, to make them feel something, to capture the small moments. But to be authentic, I have to make myself feel something as well. A lot of times, our outlook at the world is blurred by our own past experiences. Over a year ago, I lost the feeling and control over my left leg. You could say this was a negative experience for me, and over the year, it got harder. But that changes now. If I've learned anything from content creation, it's that motivation makes consistency and consistency makes dedication. With dedication, anything is possible. We are going to prove this right now by hiking this mountain. If you didn't already know, I've been on a journey that some of you call content creation. My goal is to inform, entertain, and spread positivity. If you're watching this video, acknowledge the fact that you're breathing. Through every bad time, every breakdown, every anxiety attack, and every episode, you're still here. And I can't even start to understand how hard it is, but you're here and you owe yourself a smile for that. To find this video, you are either one person from my community or this video was recommended to you. Every minute, more than 500 hours of videos are uploaded on YouTube, yet you made it to this one. I'm proud of you for making it this far and I'm sorry if you weren't told that enough, but I really am proud of you. According to the recommended YouTube algorithm, 79% of you watching this are under the age of 21. You still have plenty of time left. It's funny how you can go through life and only meet 1% of Earth's population. The other 99% is unknown to us. In that unknown are good people and great places. As we grow older, we will experience this. For now, we can focus on the good things that we have done and the good things that we can do. Say hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> I only worry about what I can do because it takes up so much time in my life that I don't, I don't have time to worry about things I can't do. So I fill my life full of things that I actually want to do. There's, I, there's a hundred things I want to do. So this can of ghost energy got us up here, from there. This can of ghost energy is gonna get us up there. 
if we're being honest, I would say that I've spent the past year running away from my own issues. My greatest fault is that I lost focus and I tried to blame everything on something that wasn't myself. The past 365 days were some of the hardest I've ever experienced, but also some of the most rewarding. Sometimes when you lose track of your own progress, you feel stuck for sometimes months on end, but that's when you learn the most about yourself. Through every bad situation, it will never be easy. But you still need to remind yourself that everything is going to be okay. It's so easy to look at other people and think that they are ahead of you. But really, everyone is living in their own little world where the things that they accomplish happen at different times in their lives. Some people won't get their big break until their 60s, 50s, 40s. Bob Ross didn't get his until 41. Oprah didn't get hers until 32. They could have easily given up in their 20s or 30s, yet they didn't, and they grew successful careers. Their whole lives built up to that one point in their timeline. You don't need to have your entire timeline planned, just wait and see what happens. We need to stop comparing ourselves with others. We each have our own problems and things that are going on. So just be patient, but consistent, and eventually you'll get there. We'll all get there. Relatively close. No, this is it. This is the first marsh. The first marsh. <laughs> you can hear the water. Mark, Yo. what's our elevation? 10,000 some feet. The very peak is just under 14 at 13.9. And we started at, I think, 8. So 2,000 feet. Hiking it. Yeah. Dude. This is extremely aesthetic. It's very re rewarding to be able to make it on the edge here. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Okay. So this is what eleven thousand feet right now? Probably, Probably close to eleven, yeah. 
And that's the farthest I've gotten, so... We ended up making it to 12,317 feet, which was by far the longest I've ever gone up this mountain. We didn't quite make it to the top, but we were pretty close. I'd like to try again another time, maybe at 5,000 subscribers. I'd like to thank all my friends who helped me accomplish this. I'd like to thank any of you who are watching this video. I'd like to thank those who have been supporting me. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video, hit that subscribe button, comment, let me know what's something that you guys want to try.